It was Buck Perry, one of the most famous teachers of angling of all time who instructed that depth control and speed control are the two top priorities in the lure presentation puzzle. For a lifetime of angling, in Fisherman Editor-in-Chief Doug Stange has professed himself a disciple of this man, and as here, Stangy will always put into practice Perry's principles with an added oh, twist up in here and there. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Whoa. Easy there. Man, wild today. Beautiful morning for bass fishing right here. And we're going to talk about this in just a second here. I'm going to show you the fish very quickly. Let them go. There. Hey, there you have it, the rubber-legged bass jig. Certainly one of the most famous bass lures of all time. And to make it fish well, you really need to add some sort of soft bait trailer. And there's so many different kinds on the market today, lots of different shapes, lots of different styles. But I contend, contend that if you group them into three categories, that it helps you go through the experiment, which is, of course, you're always looking for just the right one for the situation at hand. So three different categories. And right here, I'm going to show them to you very quickly. The first category is simply a jig with a trailer that doesn't add much vibration. So basically this jig is just pushing water. And what I've done right here is added a Berkeley Gulp Shrimp. Again, all these, this category does is it just pushes water, not a lot of vibration. This can be really, really good when the fishing is really difficult and the fish are really tentative. And of course in the fall too when, there's, when the water's cold. Now this is the one that I caught the fish on. This is the second category. You start to add um, a tipping agents that start to add vibration in various ways. This, this happens to be a Berkeley Havoc uh, craw fatty, and it's got these wildly thumping legs on it. And this is a big category. It's probably the biggest of the three categories. There's lots of different ways you can start to add vibration. Last category, almost completely overlooked. I've got a swim bait body on here. This is a Berkeley flat back uh, shad, and I've got it rigged flat on the back of the jig. This is actually a very large musky style jig, and you can just literally swim this through the water, and not only does it have a vibration like this, not only is it literally swimming, but the tail is pumping at the same time. And of course, then there's going to be some various different bodies that we're gonna talk about as we go through here to add different styles of vibration and make this fall a little bit differently. So there you've got it, three categories. All right, let's continue on here. Hey! Oh, that's not bad. Come here. Now, what's been working so far is that craw fatty with the two little flailing legs. I see I lost one of them right there. Nice fish again. And again, when you're after fish, you know, the <clears throat> Prior, this presentation priority is always the, stays the same when you're going through the experiment, and that is, first you got to work on depth control. You got to have the right depth. Then you're working on speed, and by speed we're also talking about how you retrieve the lure. Now, thirdly, it's all the other factors. You know, profile, color, and and fishermen get re really hung up on color. But I contend that third in line after speed and depth, or depth control and speed control, is actually vibration. And I mentioned that earlier. Uh, fish get up behind baits a lot of times and they feel the vibration within that that's what seals the deal when they get in close a lot of times and that's why such an important part of the trailer uh, experiment is which of those three categories you're in. There we go. All right, come in here. Up you go. Not big. Whoops. And that, man, the plastic actually, or this, Soft bait, I had a grass pig on there. And that gets us into the swimming category, the third category. And here's what I'm talking about with the grass pig. So, the grass pig is actually designed for fishing in heavy cover, but I call this a hybrid swim bait. You know, it's got the thumper tail, but if you rig this right on a rubber-legged jig, it'll make the jig swim. And you, so you swim it along, you swim it along, and then you kill it, which is always a good triggering maneuver, and it also swims on the fall. 